Welcome to this week's edition of the Connected Church News for leaders of nonprofits, churches, and faith based organizations. This week we have news from WeChat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and WhatsApp. I'm Nachi Lazarus, and this is the show where we bring you the top five digital and social media news you need to know for this week in less than five minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of this week is from Instagram. Last week, the head of Instagram announced on Twitter that they are testing direct messages on desktop. Now, this is a feature that has been one of the most requested uh, because uh, direct messages are a big way to interact with engaged audience on Instagram. And I know nonprofit churches and ministries are increasingly starting to use Instagram and see Instagram as an important channel of uh, reaching out to people. So, uh, watch out for this feature as it starts getting rolled out to everyone in the days to come. Our next news is about WeChat. WeChat is running a trial for having a paywall for certain content, which means uh, people will pay uh, content creators to uh, consume their content, which could be a original, for example, a blog post or a original content that they create and they place on WeChat. Now, uh, people will pay to consume that. Now, this is a monetization option that is opening up interesting trends because if this works in China where they are trialing, this uh, opens up a new monetization option that other social media channels and private media channels, specifically uh, like WhatsApp, uh, would be looking at as potentially uh, you know, rolling out for content creators because having monetization option attracts good content creators and with good content more users and you know the whole uh, cycle just moves on like that so it's a very interesting trend so i wanted to bring it to your attention uh, just goes to show that how the private media space is evolving very fast and monetization coming into it and that this whole space is becoming something that we need to watch out for as a non-profit or a ministry our next news is about twitter last week uh, twitter ceo uh, in an interview announced uh, that he would probably never bring an edit button to uh, tweets. Uh, having an edit feature is something that people have been asking Twitter for for a very long time and in this interview he said we'll probably never do it. Uh, the thing that I wanted to bring to your attention in this interview and his article is the reason that he gave. So he talked about Twitter originally being an SMS text based service and he wanted to maintain that because once you send a text you cannot edit it and he said that is something that we always want to maintain as a platform so you can see how things are going towards uh, again private messaging and texting kind of a trend and even in whatsapp you can only edit only for the first few seconds and then you cannot edit your messages so this is something that you need to consider and think about especially when you're communicating with your ministry and church members uh, this is going to be an increasing trend that you cannot edit messages so we need to be very uh, cautious and uh, aware of this fact when we are communicating with people our next news is from facebook last week facebook's developer team made an announcement that they are releasing a new feature called login notifications so when you use facebook to log into a third party app you will now start getting alerts even when you re-log in into a third party app uh, in which your access information has expired you will also get an alert so that way you can control your privacy and make sure that your facebook login is used only by third party apps that you want uh, to use so this is facebook's move towards the whole privacy aspect of things our last news of this week is from whatsapp last week wall street journal reported that facebook may not be working on an advertising option within whatsapp there were stories or there were some news items that talked about uh, whatsapp coming up with ads within whatsapp status and uh, now facebook seems to have dropped that idea and they may be rethinking the way they would like to monetize whatsapp or um, use advertisements as an option within whatsapp so for now we looks like we may not be seeing advertisements on whatsapp uh, which is which is a good thing from a user perspective uh, but from a marketing angle it's going to be interesting to see how uh, facebook is going to use whatsapp for monetization and uh, give advertising options to organizations something to wait and watch well that's all we have for you this week thank you for joining me i really appreciate it 
If you like to dig deeper into any of the news items that we talked about today, we've got the source links and all the details in our news page, nachilazarus.com slash news. Do check it out and please share it with other nonprofit church ministry leaders and teams who you think might benefit from this. I will see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, stay connected, stay blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.